Greetings everyone. So today I want to talk about what's the best way to connect your equipment, your Xbox, your DVD player, whatever you have. Should you connect it to the soundbar or should you connect it directly to the TV? Well, I'm going to tell you the best way to go about it. All right. So depending on your setup, if you have a soundbar that you can connect to your HDMI ARC port, that's the first thing you want to do. If you don't have the HDMI ARC port, then your next option is the optical connector. Now, as far as your equipment, your Xbox, your PlayStation, your DVD player, whatever equipment that you have that you're trying to connect, the best way to connect those, in my opinion, is to the TV. The TV will feed the sound all the way to the soundbar. And if you're using that HDMI ARC port, you can control the volume to the soundbar and the TV all in one. Now I know some of the soundbars have additional HDMI ports beyond the HDMI ARC, which means you can connect additional devices to the soundbar to feed to the TV. But I personally connect everything to the TV itself. And I know TVs have a limited amount of HDMI ports and you're probably gonna run out. But there are HDMI port switchers on the market that can extend the amount of ports that's limited on your TV. But that's the route that I would choose instead of plugging my additional equipment into the soundbar and feeding it back to the TV. Now the soundbar was originally created to expand the sound from your TV. You know, give it a little bit more umped, a little bit more bass, a little bit more high, a little bit more clarity in your voices. But the more expensive soundbar has the capability to have these additional ports that you can plug in equipment that feeds back to the TV. But I will still choose to connect all my equipment to the TV instead and just let the TV feed every sound that comes from those additional equipment back to the soundbar. So that's my opinion on how you should go about that. Now there are cheap switches on the market and there's expensive switches on the market. Of course, the higher quality you get, the better you're gonna keep all those signals as far as Dolby Atmos and all the other stuff that you get from your equipment depending on its capability. So choose your switcher wisely. I can leave some in the description that you can check out to suit your needs. Okay, so I hope this helps out because I had this question several times on a previous video I did about connecting your HDMI ports ARC to your TV. And I wanted to explain how I actually connect my equipment, how my thing is set up, Everything is feeded to the TV and then the TV to the soundbar. All right, so if you have any questions, go ahead and leave it down in the comment section. I want to thank you for taking the time for watching. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.